slow down. Watch that ball tail. Stop. So we're going on the low today, me and my rookie student. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Go for it, man. So he's going to the restroom, but me and my rookie student, we're going to go on a low today. And he's a permit holder. And this is kind of how we get that real world of experience. Isn't this part of Prime or isn't this like a... Yeah, this is part of Prime. This is part of Prime. Prime on today. It's its own company. Um, it's the Eagle Trevor. Go get our paperwork. Look at those big machines. So they shred up the tires and they make the rubber mulch in here. And the office is around the corner over here. This is where we get the paperwork. So we're going to go in here, grab our paperwork, and then on the way we go. We got our bills on to go find our trailer. Watch out for the forklifts. Gotta be watching out, paying attention inside these warehouses. So we're on our way to find this trailer. There goes a tanker, yard dogs over there. For trailer 61, 62. Uh, nah, it's none of those. Yeah, it's none of none of those. Let's go check this side. That's the tanker washout right there. That's why there's all these tankers over here. That is the tanker wash. Look at all those big tires and shredded stuff. And more bags of mulch. See, we used to park all over our trailers right here, but right now there's too much mulch going on. It's, they got too much. See if our trailer's over here. That trailer's leaning with it. Uh, no, I don't see it here. Right. Feels like this one. No, it's not that one. I doubt it's that blue one. No, I don't think it's that blue one. Entire supply, nope. Let's go down here. Look at that decked out lightweight. I like how the, the APU he painted orange. Ninja Turbo theme. That's it right there, I think. 61. I'll double check before I hook it up. Yep, 61.
my little tug. Just because you tug it, that doesn't mean you don't have to check the kingpin and the locking jaws. It's just good. I always like to tug it to kind of double check that it's hooked on before yeah. I get out. Alright, so we're going to hook up this trailer. definitely all the way now so he's gonna get the landing gear then he's gonna start doing his pre-trip of the whole trailer he kind of he's been with me for a week so he kind of knows what he's doing on the pre-trip but I'm gonna go through it too two eyes are better than one in that situation but I'm gonna see how he does it see empty trailer it doesn't have to be cleaned because they're just putting tires on it it's one of these dry bulk trailers this is not even um this is this is not even prime's trailer it's uh, another company's all right so we finished our pre-trip he's gonna pull this thing up so we can shut these back doors Thought I'm gonna pull it up enough that it clears the back of the the back of the trailer clears this trailer right here. See how good his depth perception is. All right. So we did our piece tip. We didn't find nothing majorly wrong with it size the reflective tapes all faded like crazy see it's all faded bad it's still on there it still works but it's faded not a biggie it's it's on there and it's reflective yeah I'll just come out in front of these stay this way but we're gonna go out and make a left right here we just gotta miss all those cones right there on your side you got it plenty of room and then we're gonna go out that gate over there so we're gonna go through this driveway right here and you can use this hood mirror and these side mirrors to see if anyone's coming since you're at an angle like that see the hood mirror and nobody's coming then we're going to go to this gate and you'll need a car to slide get closer to it so you can reach out there and slide the car get closer just make sure that mirror doesn't hit it and stop slides like that left out the driveway
turn like half a second sooner but you still got it you're not you didn't go off the road you definitely got all the room you could out of that turn all right let's go all the way to arkansas So it's a real sharp turn. Slow down. All right, keep going. Keep going though. You're doing five to seven, good. And then go straight from here. And then we're gonna use the whole driveway because it's real tight. Turn. You made it. See how close it was? And stay on that side because we're gonna go through this gate up here so we need to get all the room we can out of it too. This place is kinda of like tight. Everything, you, every turn you make, it's gonna be like, get as much room out of it as you can. See the gate right there? So just use all that room right there. See, cleared it good. Real good. Now come on your side and we'll go stop at that green light right there and I'll take the we'll take the paperwork up to the window, check in. And then they'll tell us what to do. And stop. And turn it off. Push them in. It, you didn't shut your door good enough. Ta da! <laughs> Straight. Yep, we're gonna go around this curve right here. They even put a sign, keep right. So they're letting you know you have to get all the room you can. this scale right here so keep going straight out they used to make us pull on that scale in and out it wasn't fun now turn left because we're gonna go up here they gotta grab a lot in the very back of this place that's where we're heading to see those scales are not fun to pull on to I really don't like them Yeah, they're wide enough. You'll fit. I just don't like them too much. We're going to go around this truck. We're going to go down this path over here. See this brand new gravel lot back here? That's where we're going. Well, we made it all the way to Arkansas. Your first time being in Arkansas, right? Yep. Let's go. I have been to a lot of other states. Though, I know my mom and grandmother work for American Airlines. Oh, so that uh, you gotta fly. We're going to go out to the left in front of those dumpsters. And then we're going to go in front of those trailers and come back this way. That way we can back it in right there. All over the U.S. and in a couple places. all the way right now on spin it some go out for that trailer and then more right 
and a left. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, we ended up in front of it. It's fine. Right, roll down your window over there. Oh, right into the mud. It's, I would put it over here so I like I would angle it this way some and then get back in front of it and maybe pull up again and then blindside around that trailer just try and move it this way some as you back up that wheel turn we're moving it this way we're moving it to your left okay move it there you go Don't go too far. You're going to push it way past where you're trying to go, okay? All right. Now use that mirror over there. Straight line back. Use this mirror. You can see out of this one now. Get it back to straight. Straight line back it. You want to pull up? You can pull up if you want to. Look at me. Now straight line back it. Plenty of room on this side. Get back to straight so you can see. And a little bit more right there. All right, let's unhook it. Not bad. He hasn't had much backing experience so far, just uh, on the pad. So that was pretty good. You did good. Yeah, when I was... Remember, if you can't see the back of the trailer, you're looking in the wrong mirror. Wrong mirror. Yeah. So whenever you were looking that way and you couldn't see nothing, you should have switched mirrors. Yeah, when I was cockeyed uh, and I decided to pull up, I was debating if I wanted to just... Move it more over here or what? Here. Yeah. yeah. You could. We could have put it over more. As long as the trailer can fit in here, they're not really worried about it. There's a little bit of room over there. They really couldn't get three trailers in here. I mean, they might have if we would have put it tighter, but they're going to move it anyways where we take this one from. Yes. They just do their own backing over here. Did your thing fall off? No, I didn't even put it on there. I just wedged it on there because it stayed. It stayed. Yeah. And now we're gonna go over there somewhere and get the next trailer. That's good. So 
So now we're gonna go way over there and get the other trailer. pull up about an inch we don't have a trailer pull up just a little bit all right stop this air suspension press the top of it it's gonna let the air out the airbags drop the back of the truck lower than the trailer pull out it won't hit isn't there something you look at up here no one if it was a loaded trailer right there. Okay. It, because that's your your gauge for the right weight but since we don't have one, we just wait like five, 10 seconds. About yeah, I'll try it now. See how it didn't make that pop sound like bam. Yeah. Push the switch back. Let's go get our trailer. what I say trailer? It was 91, 90. 90. We dropped 61, we're picking up 90. So how it tees right here where those trailers are, we're gonna go to the right. Stagnant water. I bet mosquitoes are bad over here in the summer. Oh yeah. Wait, right here, awesome. Right here. Go up that road right there. So turn more right. It's a recycling place. This also work in I really don't know what they do here too much I mean it looks like looks like they make their own mulch here I just don't know what stay out wide all right we're gonna go that way we're looking for trailer 90 see that's 79 none of those go this way so we can go around these uh, that's 15 five it might be this one on the end right here yeah it'll have the number on the side So I had to back it under this trailer because they had this dumpster here. That's what the guy came out here and told us. So I didn't get no footage of that. So now what I have to do is I'm going to have to back around this stuff over here. So this place is easier if you go around this other side over here. That's a hard turn over there. So what I'm going to attempt to do, I don't know if we, it's going to be possible. So I'm going to attempt to come back here and hit a uh, left and get out of here. It's not even sliding right now. So we'll try to slide it here in a second. You know what? We're just gonna drive around. Cause that doesn't look too promising. I'd have to jackknife it really hard. And I'm not about to jackknife it back there. But it gave me more room away from that dumpster by backing up. Watch the dumpster, watch the dumpster.
yeah this turn right here it's it's not good and these tandems are stuck all the way to the back so once we get over there on some concrete i'm hoping to be able to slide them oh man oh we're waiting here for a minute We need that one truck to move up and then we can go around them and then we can go over there come back around this way because with the tandems all the way back they're not going to make it around the scale right here even with the trailer all the way on this side the farther back the tandems are the wider the turn. it doesn't react it's the so the tandems are the pivot point of the trailer you just move the whole pivot point of the trailer to the very back so it reacts later. yeah so it's further back that it's going to react. Yeah, move up, move up, move up, move up. That way I can make it through here. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Got all this room to make this. to some concrete inside these tandems. Okay, we're gonna clear that. See how far back the tandems are? They're all the way back. Is that a fox or a cat? Cat? I just saw it out the corner of my eye and I was like, what is that? It's a black cat. You never seen a black fox before? <laughs> I didn't really see it that great. I just saw like, a, I thought it was a shadow, but then I saw that it was a cat. I was like, oh, that ain't no fox. My squirrel buddy ain't out here today either. There's usually some squirrels right here. Where's the squirrels? My last job, we had a ground dog. That we like, walk around our fences. Yeah. Did somebody fucking ran him up? <laughs> Poor little guy. I'm gonna let this guy go. the road right here slide these tandems that way we're in in the mud all right you want to go pull that handle you gotta pull it all the way out and hook it down like i did all remember down. whenever yeah
trying to so what we're doing is sliding the tandems trying to distribute the weight so all right let's see if they'll slide here Twenty two thousand. It's not bad. Let me go see what hole we're about there in. Oh, that's fine. Whenever, um, Let's see what hole this is in. One, two, three. Real close together holes. But when you put air in it, that handle's gonna go back and those pins are gonna pop out. Pop out. Then pop we'll out. then we'll pull up and it'll click. And then we'll come out here and make sure that they're all locked in on both sides. Is it two on each side? Yep, two on each side. Hey, my shadow. Don't let your shadow scare you. Put some air in it. Feels like they're locked in. Now we're gonna go check and see if the pins are in. All the way out, all the way out. It's nice out here. All the way out, all the way out. We're good. Guys all like, get out of my way. Well, gotta slide them before you drive like that. We had too much weight up front. All right, you ready? Let's go. Find the nearest gas station. It's right up the road. Should have told me there was a bathroom in there. No, oh, I can hold it. I'm, I'm mainly looking for some food. Oh, some food. Ready to go eat the, my my burrito place? Your burrito place? Yeah, it's like Subway for burritos. We're finally ready to go and then they're all like, oh, let's go around them. Let all that traffic come around. Let them go for it. It's all good. There wasn't no one behind us when we stopped, but they're so busy, people in and out. Come on, Ram. What you think of Arkansas? Nice weather, think, huh? Yeah, it seems nice. <laughs> All right, we can go now. Just like the way in, stay wild, wide on the way out. Good job. Checking your mirrors. Good. Staying wide. Sure, you getting ready to test? And we're going to turn left on the street up here. We're 
going to go through the fuel bay and we're going to go around the vehicles over here so we can be facing the way, right way to back into one of these spots the because they're all angled spots yeah through the fuel bay Turn the wheel straight. Check your mirrors. We're going to turn left. And then go in front of these trucks. Stay closer over here. About a door width away from them. Keep going, keep going. I think this is going to be our best spot right here next to this little flatbed thing. So keep going straight, keep going straight. Go all the way left. Slow down, watch that bobtail stop. See that bobtail right there? All right, keep going. He stopped. And go right. Gotta be watching your mirrors. Put your four-way flashers on. Go a little bit more left. Now go right all the way turn it that way we'll be straighter to the spot now we're going back in there roll down your window you need to move it closer to this truck start moving it start moving All right, stop. You gotta move it over more. You don't have enough room between you and that truck to move it over. Pull back up. All right, try and move it a little bit more because you needed to go over a lot, you know? So move it further over. Watch the back of that trailer. Move it over. Now get back in front of it, see how far you moved it. Keep going. How are you looking over there? Get it back to straight. Get it back to straight. Get it back to straight. Get it back to straight so you can see again. Every time you bump it over, get it back to straight. Bump it over. Bump it over. Get it to straight. Bump it over. Get it back to straight. All right. How are we looking on the other side too? We're looking pretty good over there. Looking pretty good. All right, keep back it all the way in. We don't want to hit the curb because we don't want the mud flaps to keep catch between the curb and the tire and it pull it down and rip them. All right, you're in there. Set the brakes. Roll the window. Roll the window up. Put it in neutral and then turn it off. Let's go. PSD student backing it in there. Let's go. Took some it's about just bumping it over some minor adjustments that's what it's about check out the size of this burrito it comes from the uh workman's truck stop it's like a subway for burritos it's like a mose it's pretty good it's at exit 78 in arkansas on the 49 let's go how's that big burrito <laughs> right when you were about to take a bite <laughs> i waited for it is it good delicious let's go so we just got full 
We just ate a bunch. Now we're um, back to the truck. You don't got the key? Oh, no, he locked me out. It's in my pack. It's all good. I got my keys somewhere. Oh, here's my keys. He's like, when I go to sleep, I just put it in my... Did you eat good? Amazing. Stop. Yeah, I like this truck stop right here. Until we get back, then I'll be home. Yeah. But every time you stop somewhere, you should have checked all your lights, your tires, stuff like that. Just do a little walk around. So, you know, it's always nice to check stuff out. Always check your fifth wheel arm. Your release arm, I mean. Check your release arm, make sure it's make in. Sure it's because somebody can pull that. Pull well, don't pull it. Don't pull it. But you want to make sure that's there. Check the kingpin and the locking jaws. Make sure that bar is all the way across. All, the way across. all right. And then you just do a little, you continue the walk around. We're going to continue the walk around check these lights and everything and then we'll be on the road again and then we'll drop this load and he has completed a full load well the GoPro died didn't know the battery was dead but hey we were out of battery on the way in but really we were out of battery probably for a while but look we made it We're disconnecting, and then we're out of here. How was your first load, man, by yourself? Not too bad. You think you got it? I, I'd say it was a lot better than the first two. Yeah. There you go. You have fun? What was that? You have fun? <laughs> Supposed to be having fun. This is living the kid every kid's dream right here. Every kid wanted to be a truck dr driver. I did it. They're all in the cars next to you wanting you honk the horn and oh, stuff. I, I still do that sometimes. I do too, I ain't gonna lie. I still like getting the truckers a honk the horn. Look at you, PSD student did all. I don't think I backed once, did I? Oh, I, on the bobtail because that crooked uh, dumpster. That was it. Yeah. And then besides that, you did all the driving. You drove all the way there, all the, all the way, way back. back. You took us to eat everything. Let's go, man. You got that. Sir. Now you just need a test. That's the end. Yeah, some more practice. Well, we still got a whole week. Whole week yeah, until next think, Friday. You think you're not going to improve in a whole week? Oh, no, I definitely will. I've noticed, like, it's not the ends of everything that I... It's everything starts to click with me. Like, yesterday, doing the offset, I was fucking up for, like, those first five tries, and then those last two, it kind of clicked. Yeah. It's all good. You learn from your mistakes. You mess it up at first. And then you're like, well, don't do that again. So you learned a lot from messing up. Then you know how to do it. You're all like, can I do this again? Can I do that again? Oh, last time I did that, it was bad. So yeah. well, let's get out of here. We're finished. You want to go or you want me to? I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. I haven't got to drive today, man. <laughs> I like to drive every once in a while. Hey, he backed it in there pretty good. I didn't get it on camera, but... I mean, he's parallel to the line. I'm always relaxing. All right, we done. Like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff.